say rigged. What the fuck was that? Who the fuck are these judges? Are they blind? Gif easily won that. Then the YouTuber MrBeast responded saying, If you told me someone slid those judges $100,000 to rig it, I believe you. This is ridiculous. And so many YouTubers were supporting Gib on this, they just felt like this fight was completely rigged. Actually, the YouTuber MiniMentor tweeted out saying, What the actual fuck is that? I knew this event would be fucked, but I didn't expect them to rig such an obvious fight. Fuck the judges, you're a legend, and you won. Randolph tweeted out saying, Feel safe for Gib, man. Went to hell and back to put on that performance. Put on a masterclass, and they literally rigged it for what? I lost all integrity and respect for the event runners. So this is where the whole thing gets even more insane because before an official winner was actually announced before it was announced as a draw the event organizer social club these are the guys that actually ran the event they tweet out saying that taylor holder won they said that taylor holder beat him so this was tweeted before the results were announced and when it was announced for the draw social gloves quickly deleted their tweet then immediately afterwards they tweet out a correction saying that it was the draw so this is why people felt like this fight was actually rigged because the company that runs the event literally tweeted out before the official winner was announced saying that Taylor Holder won when that didn't happen, when it was a draw. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And this was trending on Twitter all night last night. You had so many people supporting Gib saying that he got completely robbed of his win here. And Gib just posted a video this morning with his thoughts on his fight versus Taylor Holder. Just watch this. The biggest victory in Volkville history. One of the athletes in Big Giver here. It's a day after the fight. The first of my pancakes mission get rid of apps. That call. Respect to Taylor Holder, but respect to Leeds once he tries to claim the victory. I kicked his ass for five rounds, hit him with so many body shots I heard him fight in the ring. It's that one judge, that silly, silly bastard, I don't know how he scored it, but I think he gave Taylor all five rounds. Okay, so the next fight was between Deji and the TikTok star known as Benny the Hacker. Now, for those of you guys who have been following this YouTube boxing stuff for a while, Deji is obviously really loved in this YouTube boxing scene. He actually went five rounds with Jake Paul, and people felt like he was going to do really well in this fight versus Benny the Hacker. But it looks like Deji had serious issues with his stamina during this fight. It looks like he was gassed out very quickly. And by the end of the fight, Benny was just completely wailing on Deji, and the referee even had to stop it, and Benny ended up winning by a technical knockout and this was really sad because immediately after the fight Deji was saying that he was a failure he even said this to his own opponent talking about you know cloud numbers more fans many hackers just did this in front of a completely different audience and i think he's got a lot of new fans tonight that was amazing and i hope we get to see Vinny hacker in the ring again again someone so regardless of what Deji thinks i mean so many youtubers were just supporting him over this they were saying that you know he's still a champion because he got into that ring and actually showed what he can do. The YouTuber Anything Prime responded saying, I felt like you fought really well, man. Nothing to feel bad about. It was a great match. And that's right, so many people are just completely supporting Deji right now. But Deji's former boxing coach, known as Vidal Riley, not sure if you guys know this, he played PSI and Deji for their first boxing fight. And he obviously is very well known in the YouTube boxing scene. Well, the dog tweeted this out a few hours ago. He says, I woke up to hell of messages saying that I should scream Deji. Been there, done that. He should just not box anymore because the effort he still requires is too much for him. And Deji then uploaded a new video to his YouTube channel just a few hours ago, and it's called See You Soon. And he says here that he's going to take a break from social media to train. It looks like he's going to try to have better cardio so that he can keep up with his stamina during his fights. And a lot of his fans and viewers are happy to see that he's not giving up on boxing. Oh, my stamina failed me again. My stamina failed me. And, uh, and, and yes, I know that. I, I don't want to give it too much because it actually speaks out the words. social media and I'm just going to be working on myself. That's what I need to do. I need to work on my cardio. I need to work on just myself as a whole. Because I do want to box it. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to just let my actions speak louder. And yeah. I guess you I'll see you guys soon. Now after this fight between Deji and Vinny, the main event happened. And this was between Austin the Groom from the Ace Family. He runs the largest family vlogging channel on YouTube. He's actually massive on YouTube. I'm sure you guys are watching if you want to watch Well, he was fighting the track stars known as Bryce Paul. And leading up to this fight, Bryce Paul was talking in front of trash on Austin the Groom. 